he concentrates on a period which many people have not done. Well, I can't think of anyone who's done it before. When I first met him, he was collecting pottery figures. It took some convincing to tell him that within the period, uh, the six dynasties which he collected, which was a narrow field, he wasn't l really looking at the greatest things produced in that period. For example, Buddhist art, both in stone and gilt bronzes, etc. I've always been very interested in Buddhist sculpture because it's unlike any other sculpture. Um, it's very concentrated, it's very, uh, they're religious. Uh, Buddhist sculpture is made in different parts of China, in, for example, in the caves um, in Lungman, in Yungang, in Tianlongshan, trying to get the collector to see um, through his eyes, um, to allow to be persuaded, and provided the dealer is honest and has the interest of the collector in mind, then um, it can be a very interesting tandem where they can work together because normally you're far more experienced than the collector and you, you can see the pitfalls and also you can see the triumphs in the collection when you buy you know, icons, when you buy great pieces to be able to convince him that, that you know, this piece does belong to his collection. There is no such thing as a complete collection. You can always go on adding and there is always something that the collector hasn't got or something that he's discovered recently. So I don't think you can complete um, a collection the way you can co complete a stamp collection when you know the stamps that have been produced. But he is very concentrated and he's both really the best of that period.